Hey, quiet on set, you son of a bitch. What are you trying to do? Do you have it backwards? I just remember last time you used one of those, you did it backwards. No, I mean, you just line up the hooks, right? channel man today I'm starting off uh, I want to get this damn door disassembled the most difficult part of painting this damn Camaro that we have remaining is going to be trying to get this door presentable and usable Well, it turns out in order to remove this glass you have to drill out rivets You can't just unbolt it and pull the damn thing out um, I'm under the impression that this glass must have never been out of this door because it still has the factory rivets So I guess then again, you can replace the rivets. So who knows? Maybe it's been replaced Just somebody used factory rivets to put it back in. So there's that one and then there is another that's supposed to be on this side But it's already missing That's where that hole is at right there. And then there's one over here on this side right there so a total of three is going to remove that track from the bottom of the glass allowing me to actually pull this thing out um i want to gain as much room in here as i possibly can so i can bang the hell out of this thing and not worry about breaking this glass at the same time anyhow that's not like a traditional rivet that's got a hole in the center that's necessarily easy to just drill it out see those ones are just like these they have like a the pin sticking up in the center so i can't get a drill bit to center itself on that and actually mow through it i'm going to need to use my little angle grinder for my uh my pneumatic one, but my compressors are out of the booth. So to the booth we go. All right, windows out, finally. That's a very important step. So where we drilled those, well, grinded those rivet things out of there, uh, we'll have to replace with bolts. So now there'll just be a hole through the actual bracket, and then there's a hole in the window. You just put bolts with nylon nuts and everything on it. So uh, that I'm not worried about. But the this thing is actually broken. This thing is busted all to shit. So I need to also get this out because I want to replace that. 
um, and I'm pretty sure that it is also riveted in. We are almost there. I do want to get the uh, levers and stuff off as well because I don't want to risk damaging this stuff for one. Um, and for two, I need to get the door handle and the lock cylinder out of the way for paint. So as far as those, I have those two lock locking nuts right there. And then it looks like the lock cylinder is just like one of those hooks that you have to pull off. But, of course, there's rods connected over there to the latch mechanism. Um, and that's just these three bolts right there. And I have the tool ready for that. And then, other than that, the, the rod for the lock is just disconnect, is already disconnected. You've got to pop it out of there. And then this rod comes over and connects to the handle. This handle is riveted in. I could simply just, obviously, drill that damn rivet out and get this thing out of the way. But... That's not really going to be in my way. I could probably just go ahead and leave the handle there. Uh, save myself a little bit of work. But there is the rod connected to it. Back inside of there. So I'm going to have to get that off of there. I'm just going to kind of play with it. And see if I can figure out how that thing pops off. It looks like it slides up and then out. But yeah, disconnect the rod there. And then take those two locking nuts off and that little C-clamp thing. And then these three bolts and that whole freaking thing should manangle its way out of there. Alright, so having this thing all torn down is obviously going to make this a lot easier to get to the backside, but 
Uh, now from this point, we're gonna have to just kind of try to hammer this thing and get it as flat as possible. So that's gonna take uh, hammering it from the inside, you know, from the back side of the sheet metal and then from the front side also. Cause right now there's actually a lot of really high spots in this where all these holes are at. Somebody freaking years ago used a, a slide hammer, like a, a dent puller and all these high spots they didn't hammer out so all the places where there's one of those damn holes is a high spot we got to get that flattened out but then everything around it is a low spot um, i also need to get all of the bondo out of the holes because i am going to weld these holes shut i'm not going to close them back in with bondo Yeah, so this thing is going to be a lot of work, but obviously it's going to be worth it because I can't find another one. All right, so I don't know how well this is gonna actually show up on camera, but I'm gonna try to show you guys the best that I can. I haven't done any work on this top section right here. So if you guys can see how freaking lumpy that is, all of that was filled in with Bondo, bro. That is insane. Anyhow, uh, this section down here is where I've been working. Right here only, I haven't done this side. Uh, well, I've, I've done a little bit on this side. This side is a little bit closer to being finished. And it is a lot smoother now. Dun, dun. Anyhow, I'm just going back and forth. And I have that quarter inch steel plate right there that I'm putting underneath the door. And just using a hammer from the inside. And just hammering the metal. Trying to get it as flat as I possibly can. It's going to be very time consuming. Uh, the one problem I am having is up here closer to the body line. Since being there is a crash bar in there. It's kind of hard to get to that. That area is right in behind that damn impact bar. But I do have a stud gun uh, in the garage. I'm going to have to bring that out. And I'll probably use the stud gun across that section right there. And just use the uh, the puller and pull that out since I can't get to it. But anyhow, I have, I don't know, maybe two or three hours more worth of just hammering on this damn thing to do. So here we go. So like you guys know, I haven't been able to find a damn door inside of the junkyard. This is definitely taking a very large portion of my life. But... It's worth it. I don't give a shit what anybody says. So somebody put in the comments that I should get a door skin. Where's that thing at? So how, how much is the door skin? This one's $525. $525, babe? Mm -hmm. You see? It's fiberglass. That. Oh, it's fiberglass? Yeah, fiberglass. And then you've got the... Do they have sheet metal? Um, I was looking. I, did, I saw all the way up to 81, but I need 82 at least. Oh. So the only thing you get is fiberglass, or you can get just the lower skin. The lower? Oh, if it was rusted out, yeah. I'd imagine you get that. Anyhow, yeah, I guess that's, um, I thought that was sheet metal. I guess it's fiberglass, but still, 525 freaking dollars, man. Screw that. I'd rather just spend a few hours. Anyhow, I got most of the low spots out. I got a, I got a few high spots on the bottom that I need to kind of tap in, but right now I just want to work on this area right here. I'm going to go ahead and just tack some of these little spikes on all the way down and just start pulling on that.
man. This door has definitely been through a lot. Well, me and this, me and this door together, we have been through a lot, man. <laughs> I have uh, I have a lot of hours invested into this damn door, um, and I want to say I want to tell you guys that this is my first time doing something this extensive, trying to straighten something like this out. I know it would have been a lot easier to completely get a new door or a new door skin, but I'm actually happy that I did this. It's a learning experience for me. Hey, I also got all the holes filled in, uh, which that was also a struggle because in the middle of it, I ran out of gas. And of course, it's Sunday right now. I always run out of gas when the place ain't open to go fill it up, but got it done, dude. Got all the holes filled, got it as straight as I think I'm gonna be able to. So from here, yes, I am going to have to apply a a layer of bondo like there ain't no way around it in order to get this perfect i am gonna have to use some body filler sorry i am not the type of metal guy that's gonna be able to get this 100 perfect uh it's it's close dude but the thing is is now the bondo is going to be much 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 thinner than what it was before i mean damn it was like a half inch thick before um now i'll be able to actually just skim over this and then i'm gonna have to come back and sand it all back down um, and then we'll finalize it with just some high build primer um, and then block sand it and everything, get it all nice and nice and flat. Finally, this damn door is done. And what's really crazy is it's not even freaking done yet. I still gotta block sand this damn thing. So I got three coats of uh, high build on there. Nice, thick, heavy coat of primer. And now I can come back and do all the final shaping and get it nice and smooth and make sure my body line is nice and crisp and all that. So, oh my God, bro, I've been working on this since Thursday of last week. 
It's currently Monday. So yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday now. No, it's Tuesday right now. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. All right, so was it worth it? Time-wise, probably not. Probably should have just found a door, you know? Would have saved me a bunch of time. Experience-wise, I think it was worth it. I'm I'm happy I did it myself. I'm happy, uh, you know, I learned. I learned some shit from doing this, you know? No, it's not perfect. I definitely still had to use some Bondo to get it nice and, and straight. But we did get that metal massaged out to where I only have maybe an eighth of an inch thick of bondo in some areas anyhow guys i'm gonna go ahead and end it here i really wanted to get all of this primered in this video but like i said this has taken me since last week to get this done it's nuts not just only working on that but you know other stuff that i've had to do outside of youtube as well but i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, i'm gonna try as hard as i can to get another video up tomorrow for you guys maybe i can get braven to make a video for you guys he's got to go to speedway and go buy a bunch of stuff for his truck so uh, throw it in the comments if you guys would like to see that. Anyhow, you signing me up for out here? I said maybe you can make me a damn video for tomorrow. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> so I gotta edit this all day and then try to get started on a video for tomorrow and get it edited. But I hate being on the same day. Same day sucks. But then again, you could get ahead if I do that. If you do what? If I go and spend all my money. <laughs> yeah. You got a lot of money to spend there, buddy. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. Enough. Yeah, enough, buddy. enough to spend. No, well, you have a lot of stuff that you need to spend money on. Oh, that's for sure. That's for Woo. sure. All right, maybe we'll do that. Woo. It's a good video, though. Yeah, you can, take, you can take the other cannon. Okay, cool. I'm done with it. All right, he said he's going to hook you guys up with a video for tomorrow. So, anyhow, peace. See you then. Later there, Rugged. Oh, later. Don't headbutt the camera.